Dear students, welcome to my channel. Topic of this video is Introduction to Statistics under Quantitative Analysis. This video is divided into five parts. In this video, I am going to cover the part one that is functions, importance, usage and limitation of statistics. Let us start. The word statistics has been derived from Latin word status or Italian statista meaning statesman. The word statistics has different meaning to different person that is from very simple use to very complex use like simple average to hypothesis test. Knowledge of statistics is applicable in day to day life in different ways. In daily life it means general calculation of items like example subject marks, maximum mark, minimum mark, mode of the marks, median, mean median, range, percentage, percentile, outlier etc. The statistics is used by people to take decision about the problem on the basis of different type of quantitative and qualitative information available to them. The variables like interval and ratio scale they comes under the category of quantitative while the variables like nominal and ordinal they comes under the category of qualitative. Statistics may be defined as a science of collection, organization, presentation, analysis and interpretation of numerical data. According to our definition, there are five stages in statistical investigation. Statistics answer the question using data or information about a situation. Extracted information or data should be actionable. That is, we can do something with prediction or next calculation on the data. Statistics is property of data. Statistics is the art of science of extracting the answer from data. Why to study statistics? It helps in decision making in an uncertain environment, for example prediction and we may apply the variety type of hypothesis test. We collect and analyze the data to make a decision. We want to have statement based on sample that will have some validity for the population. That is we collect only sample and we make the inferences for the population. Let us discuss all five stages of statistics. First is collection of data. Once the study purpose and the scope are established, it is essential to gather data about the study topics. Hence, gathering data is the first essential step. Depending on investigation goals, data may be gathered from primary, secondary or even both sources. Organization Once data have been gathered, researcher must organize them so that they make inference from them. Classification is the process of grouping together pieces of data based on certain similarities. If the information came from published source, it was probably organized. If the data came from surveys or any kind or maybe private data, then at that time organization is required. By modifying, categorizing and tabulating, the data gets organized. The process of tabulating involves displaying the categorized data as a table. Data are easier to understand and are more suited for additional statistics analysis when it is presented in tabular form. To make it easier to understand different patterns and to compare different circumstances, classified and tabulated data can be displayed in the form of diagram and graph. Third stage is presentation. The data are prepared for presentation once they have been gathered and arranged in front of the higher management to get insight into the data. It is easier to perform statistical analysis on the data that has been organized. Fourth is the analysis of data. This is the most important stage of any statistical investigation. The observed data is processed through statistical analysis to make it appropriate for decision making. Fifth stage is interpretation of data. After analyzing the data, researchers get information partly or wholly about the population. Explanation of such information is more useful in real life. The quality of interpretation depends more and more on the experience and insight of the researcher. Now we will explain all the five stages of statistics with the help of example. First stage collection of data which can be happen through either census which is nothing but we are collecting the data for entire population or sampling. Example results of fifth semester of CE department that is nothing but the samples and population results of all semester for CE department. Second stage is organization, array of data or tally marks 
and here the example is mark sheet third is presentation here we are using table graphs and diagram and results are displayed in the form of graph and tables of results analysis of data fourth stage here we can use the like a uh, formula like percentage average correlation regression and here we are using the functions like for our uh, problem that is the uh, uh, results we can use minimum max outlier average percentage percentile etc interpretation of data here we can use magnitude of percentage that is percentage change average here we can make the comparison of result among the c department or among across the other department by using that magnitude of percentage change now these are the important things to be understood in statistics that is population and sample population is complete set that is enumerated set of all items that interest an investigator population size capital n can be very large even sometimes it is infinity if we want to look at what is the average height of people in the world then we realize that the population is very large and it is not possible to measure the height of the people in the from the entire world so that's why we depend on the sampling the sample is an observed subset of the population of size small n population a population is set of all elements of interest in particular study while sample is a subset of the population there are two types of st uh, statistics is divided based on the basis of function and basis of distribution basis on the function there are two ways two ways that is descriptive and inferential now here in descriptive uh, generally we always take the sample because population is not possible so we apply the operation like measure of central tendency and measure of central dispersion on the samples to get the insight into the data and when we want to make some estimation that is from the sampling if we want to make the prediction for the population we are using the inferential statistics this keywords are very much important parameter and statistic parameter is always associated with the population while statistic is associated with the sample that's why when we say the average then it is for the population it is mu and for sample it is x bar now we will see detail that is descriptive and inferential descriptive statistics include tabular graphical and numerical procedure that are used to summarize data and transform the data into information measure of central tendency and measure of central dispersions are the popular method of descriptive statistics under central tendency the functions are present like mode median arithmetic mean geometric mean etc and under central dispersion the methods are available like range interquartile range and standard deviation etc inferential it provides a base for forecast prediction and estimate and are used to transform information into knowledge it is making the inferences example are point slash interval estimation that is estimating a parameter average age of customer now we are taking only sample and based on that sample we are doing the prediction for the entire population testing a hypothesis weekend sales are higher than the weekday sales so we can use variety of test like z test t test and chi square test to determine the our inferences or prediction then regression analysis forecast sale for the next month so these methods are tabulated that is the methods which comes under descriptive and inferential are tabulated in this table here i have given the uh, difference between the descriptive and inferential but on previous two slides i have already explained all these uh, topics next is the basis of distribution parametric and non parametric in parametric it is defined to have assumption of normal distribution so for example when we are taking the data then we are we have we know that the data having the normal distribution for its population under the study parametric statistics refer to those statistical technique that have been developed on the assumption that data are of certain type t test f test r test are some of the major parametric statistics used for data analysis non parametric statistics these are the statistics which are not based on assumption of normal distribution of population therefore they are called as distribution free statistics they are not bound to be used with interval scale data or normally distributed data for example chi square spearman rank difference 
these are the methods which comes under the non parametric statistics these are the function of statistics so we will see one by one the functions in detail first is definiteness as numerical expressions are more con convincing one of the statistics most important role is to present the general statements in clear and unambiguous manner vague statements or facts are never more appealing than those expressed in precise quantitative term statistics gives information in a clear unambiguous form which helps in understanding what has been spoken for example result in percentage or pointer of university instead of the remark like good very good excellent consider the claim that india's gender ratio that is number of females to every 1000 males is declining this sentence does not give the reader a clear picture of the issue however it is clear that we mean that when we remark that gender ratio has decreased from 934 in 2000 to 929 in 2010 condensation it assists in condensing the large amount of data into few meaningful figures the data is accurately summarized so that no information is lost while performing the additional statistical analysis temperature data for a city for last 5 years if the data is presented in the form of box plot for every year then it is very easy to understand and to make the some analysis or inferences from that data or that box plot third is comparison similar types of data and figures are compared for instance the data a certain business age production has been increased significantly is meaningless without a comparison of the numbers for that two ways are there company a production can be compared with other competitive companies or performance of a can be compared with itself on the time scale fourth is formulating and testing hypothesis statistical techniques are extremely helpful for creating testing and developing the new theories appropriate statistical tools can be used to assess various hypotheses such as whether a chloromycetin is successful at preventing typhoid or whether students have profited from the extra coaching or not fifth is prediction organization plans and policies are always created well before they put into the action while creating the effective policy and program the understanding understanding of the future pattern is very beneficial in order to predict the future events statistical techniques are always useful these are the importance of the statistics so whatever functions in uh, whatever the functions of statistics they are very similar to the importance the importance it simplifies the mass of data it helps to gather specific information regarding any problem it helps in making decision that are reliable and unbiased it promotes the comparison it helps in prediction and it assists in formulation of efficient policies next point is limitation of statistics unable to explain the individual terms this is very important statistics always study a group of values instead of single observation the laws of statistics are true only on average it examines a wide range of phenomena and draws a conclusion about the certain outcomes the monthly income of uh, rupees 1000 workers do not constitute statistics but the average income of rupees 1000 of group of work of that company forms a statistics so it is generally interested in the uh, group of values if the average of two sections of the students in statistics is the same it does not mean that all the 50 students in section a and section b have the same marks they having only the similar average so individual marks may be different from a and b there may be many variation between the two second unable to study qualitative characters statistics more mostly only examines the quantitative aspect of the presented problem not the qualitative aspect this includes health reach intelligence these are nothing but all nominal variables uh it includes the conversion of qualitative data into quantitative data so we can't directly take the uh, variables which are qualitative in nature we some at point we require to convert that qualitative to quantitative statistics does not directly study issues like poverty leadership beauty intelligence that cannot be studied quantitatively statistical results are not accurately correct there are only few results that are accurately correct in statistics and almost 
all are only approximately correct 100% accuracy is impossible in statistical work because statistical laws are basically based on the average as the number of qual qualitative sample increases the result incline to the more accurate results statistics statistics is not the only way of studying a given problem statistics methods are more suitable economical and efficient for most of the problem therefore they are preferable however to solve a given problem other methods are also there we cannot claim that the best solution under all condition of the given problem is a statistical method unless we compare statistical approaches with other approaches statistics cannot be of much help in studying the pro provided problems like country's culture religion and philosophy unless they are supplemented by other evidences statistics is liable to be misused because it is not easy to understand the statistics statistics can only handle scientifically by someone who is an expert in statistical methodology incompetent and uh, unskilled and inexperienced people may use misuse statistical procedure and draw the uh, wrong conclusion and which results in a uh, the total failure of the uh, company too many ways to study problem there are many different types of statistical procedure available to find a single result that's why results are vary when we apply the different procedure for example results differ depending on whether variation is measured using quartile deviation mean deviation or standard deviation statistical laws are not exact unlike in case of natural science statistical laws are not accurate they are based only on average they are reliable under circum specific circumstances they cannot be universally applied because they are just giving the approximation to the of the answer rather than a correct answer now usage of statistics statistics can be used in planning mathematics economics social science and research work so i have given the detailed explanation on this usage but i think uh, there is no need to explain any point uh, that is the use of statistics in different areas so you can read while when you watch the video Thank you.